commitments by 2020, then can you essentially take the credit for that into the next period, which is the Paris period 20 to 2030? Um, we have overachieved because we had the most generous um, target in the Kyoto Protocol. So we have overachieved uh, and there is a carryover. Uh, we, well, we will make the position clear over coming weeks about that as we announce our climate policy, but I've said, including this morning on Radio National, that we're not, we're not interested in achieving targets through accounting tricks or cop-outs. Um, hopefully that gives you a sense of my inclination around these things, but we're across our climate policy, which will be announced in greater detail over coming weeks. We've been taking some advice about this. It's quite clear that the vast bulk of opinion, certainly of countries to which we usually compare ourselves, is against carryovers. So New Zealand, the UK, a number of others have already ruled that out. Uh, and um, we'll be saying more about that in due course. But I've now, now stated quite, quite publicly on a number of occasions my inclination about these things. Uh, as for um, offsets generally, I think there will be a role for land-based carbon offsets, uh, but that will not, in, in my view, well certainly under a Labor government, not be something funded by taxpayers. So I think there is where, where um, liable entities, so high polluting businesses, are unable to get sharp reductions in their, their carbon footprint quickly, so a steel plant, for example, that is still struggling with new technology or cement making plant, they're going to have to offset any, any breach of the limits that we impose and reduce over time. Uh, and I think there's a great opportunity for that private money to go into the land sector to achieve robust, you know, genuine um, sequestration of carbon, but also to start to provide a new, un new income stream to remediate the landscape that we've we've cleared so much over the, over the past 200 years and which is under so much pressure now because of climate change. So we set up the Carbon Farming Initiative when we were in government for that purpose, not to be funded by taxpayers but to be funded by the big polluters. Uh, I think it needs a big refresh uh, and a review at the moment. Um, I think there are some methodologies that have crept in there that, that, are, that are suspect and we, we want to really apply a lens to that. But the principle of domestic offsets is something that will still be in our policy.